Hi, welcome to Taste of Change. I'm Dr. Irina Kols, and the program is dedicated to you to develop better eating habits, especially on holidays. And we are entering February, the month of love. And definitely we all like chocolate. If you want to indulge your loved ones, it's chocolate. So today we'll make pancakes, almond meal pancakes with chocolate chips and we'll use oat flour, so we'll avoid bad carbs. Let's start. We need two bowls, like one for dry ingredients and another one for wet ingredients. So, let's start with, with dry one. Well, we don't want to make like 20 pancakes because you maybe make it for morning, to indulge your loved ones or yourself, which is very nice. I make it by myself, so it is more rough. I just grind it on coffee, coffee grinder. And uh, this is how I like it, like more rough, not so smooth. One cup and uh, one fourth of cup oat. No, flour, you can call it flour, but uh, again, I repeat that you can make it by yourself. Uh, then another dry ingredient. You know, uh, when I just was starting cooking, I was wondering why, why, why dry should be combined separately from wet ones. And actually, there is a very good reason for this, of the raising this. So dry ingredients combined very well and uh, then it's equal and the dough or butter will raise equally. It is very, very important. So please do it. We need salt. What dry we have? Salt, maybe quarter of, maybe quarter of uh, teaspoon. Then baking soda. This is half teaspoon. So we'll add half teaspoon and I like for things which should raise and stay, I like to add cream of tartar. It keeps uh, baking products, like it is not going to set. So twice as much as soda. One, two. One, two. Uh, what we have dry also, we have uh, actually chocolate. So, please pay attention to get, well, you can just get chocolate and chop it into small pieces, but please pay attention to get more than 70% cacao. Only this way it will be low GI, so the glycemic index of this chocolate will be only 20, which is amazing, it is low. More than 70% is already very good. Uh, we need to mix it very well, as I mentioned, to combine it all. And, uh, well, the question is, how, how much chocolate chips you need? Well, this is about half a cup. Oi. So, okay, I'll risk to add everything. Maybe it's too many, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, wet ingredients. Almond milk. Please, when you go to the store, you'll see maybe four or five kinds of almond milk. Please choose unsweetened almond milk because many of them have sugar in. And this is the last thing we want. We don't need it at all. So we need three three-fourths of cup. I like these things because you pour it there and you see how much is inside. Three-fourths of cup. Exactly. Very nice. One egg. Well, egg is related to wet ingredients. And here it's very important to mix it. Also, so whites and yolks are equal in this wet 
mixture. What goes very well with chocolate, it's orange. So I decided to add orange extract. It's always good combination, chocolate and orange. So we'll add a little bit, maybe half of teaspoon and agave syrup. Agave syrup, it is just a treasure. It is a natural sweetener. The glycemic index is only 20 and it is adding the special. It doesn't have any special taste, maybe close to honey, but uh, in some cases it adds add, add some structure. So in this case, I choose agave syrup over the fructose, which I usually use. Like one teaspoon, oi, sorry, one tablespoon or two. So one, two, enough. Chocolate is also sweet, so we don't need to oversweet. They're all good sweeteners, healthy sweeteners. So don't be, oh, it already smells this, you know, this orange thing. Ooh, so, so good. Okay, hopefully I didn't forget anything. This is here, this is here, egg. Okay, now what we need to do, add wet ingredients to dry ones and combine them also well. Done. Oh, some agave syrup is at the bottom. This is a good amount and I think we are good with the amount of chocolate chips. Not too many, not a few. So, when you cook with uh, oat flour or oat, like ground oats or just whole oats sometimes, you need to let this water stand because it is not as uh, thin as uh, white flour, which we don't use and for a good reason, but all it requires is just maybe seven, eight minutes stand in room temperature to incorporate. And you'll see what happens to this mixture in just seven or eight minutes. Hey, look how our texture changed. Now it became smooth and thick. And this is exactly what we need. Well, the tricky part of uh, um, cooking, <laughs> cooking pancakes is the temperature. Because if you put it too hot, they become too brown and cook quickly, but you need to cook them through. So I select here seven out of 10. Well, usually I make them just on the skillet, but today, since we have Valentine's Day presentation, I will use this thing to make them beautiful. Okay, so the temperature, I'm not sure, I think maybe, maybe I'll add to eight and then I load this. So this thing will help us to make them nice and cute and equal size. Okay, let's see. So, you're grabbing like this amount and place it in. Well, regardless you if you use this device or not, the thickness should be maybe a third of inch, not more. Maybe I'll tell maybe quarter of inches back. Like uh, how you feel, like how, how you put it on the skillet, yes. Because it has baking powder in this and cream of tartar, so it is going to raise. So, we'll wait. What we also will need, it's chocolate like sauce, melted chocolate. So, let's do not waste time. And I placed 
these chocolate chips here and I'll add just a little, a little, a little bit of almond milk. I don't know, maybe, maybe a teaspoon. And we'll mix it in the cup to get liquid over our beautiful pancakes. You see, they're getting closer to be ready, so I'm low in the heat. I'm low in the heat because the second part should be actually made, be made. Aha. Uh -huh. Now they're goldish. I took a look, so they're goldish. I decreased the heat a little bit. But look how they're raising and forming the shape. This is very sweet. The chocolate is starting to melt. Oh, it smells amazing, guys. The best way of melting chocolate, it is on double, double water. Not in microwave, you can do it, but in my experience, the double water works always better. Okay. One side is definitely ready. Opa! I like this forming thing. Like, how you can make it like this? Never. It will never make like this. It will come like this without this shape. I think I need to add some olive oil. Oh, that's so good. I want you to try it. So, the first pair is ready. Ooh. We transfer them to the plate and we have more to cook. So, I'll be busy with this. Look at this wonderful, fleshy <laughs> pancakes with chocolate chips. So what I have also, I melted the chocolate as uh, I mentioned, and definitely it is so good to put it on your pancakes of Valentine's Day and red berries just to make it nice and beautiful, huh? Berries never hurt. I think it's very nice. You were watching Taste of Change with Dr. Irina Collis. Make this amazing breakfast for yourself and uh, for your loved ones and uh, enjoy healthy and yummy breakfast because uh, if you love yourself and your loved ones, you want to keep you and them healthy and energized and uh, make good food for them and for you. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Enjoy the chocolate and these pancakes. You can find the video at weightdestiny.com and actontv.org. Happy holidays.